the last clip of us in our townhouse. All right, we're out of here. We're out of here. Good luck. Bye. <laughs> Okay, I'm on my way to the house now. We got everything out so we don't have to go back, which is kind of crazy. This whole thing feels very surreal. It's just like strange whenever you move. It's hard to accept like I'm never going back there. <laughs> and we have a whole entourage of friends behind us who are gonna help us move into the new house. I didn't really film anything this morning. It just was like a whirlwind. But I'll try to get a few clips, um, especially when everyone leaves of me like unpacking and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm I'm happy, but I don't know. I feel like I don't know how to feel when things like this go down in my life. Like I just want to be all smiles, but I'm just like mm, change. I'm literally almost like my freaking cats. It just feels a little strange, but obviously very excited. Um, pretty thirsty. I think I'll do a coffee run at some point. I feel like I need to get some stuff for all the people helping us. But it's so weird to see like our old place empty, but very excited to start unpacking and making the new place feel like home. Words can make me feel what your body language shows. I'll drop all I've got for a chance to feel you on. Gain your love. There's Rudy. Hi. Hi guys, it's a lot later in the day. I did not get any clips of us moving because, I mean, I just feel like I would be the biggest, I don't know, butthead for filming people move and not helping. <laughs> so we are just unpacking now and I have a lot to show you. I don't know if I wanna like give too much away, but I'm in the dining room right now and we set up the table and like the rug and it's looking really good. So I'm gonna do full reveals once it's like more perfect looking, but I'll just give you little peeks. Um, we brought in our big tree over here. We have like his desk and another piece of furniture in the back over there, but we still need to figure out the layout in here. Actually, one thing I was talking about with my sister-in-law is should we position the desk this way, like how it is right now, or turn it that way? So let me know what you guys think. I'm not exactly sure what would be best. I'm leaning towards shifting the table so that we can more comfortably fit that chair like in this corner. Um, and I don't know what to do with that bookshelf, but yeah, it's all work in progress. The bedroom is still a real mess as to be expected. We haven't set up our bed or anything yet, but I'm just so excited that all the stuff is in here. You wanna film me? Um, okay, I'll show like the living room. So this is a real challenge because I think the couch is a little too big for the space. Um, so we tried to put it upstairs, but it just really did not fit around that corner. I feel so bad. Like we had a bunch of guys helping try to get it up around the corner. We had some casualties on our wall. Um, <laughs> so it's staying down here, but my vision was to have the couch this direction because I thought that really just open up the space and then two chairs there, but it's just not working that way. It's too long of a couch. So I think we will leave it here um, and just like make it work for now and maybe get a different couch eventually. But I'm not saying it looks bad. I feel like I might sound ungrateful, but when you're putting things around, like placing things in the house, you just want to see it look perfect and you're like, hmm, I don't know if that's perfect, you know? So we'll figure it out. Um, but I have my assistant here with me. I won't film, <laughs> I won't film you, but we're just gonna undo the kitchen. The whole kitchen is like a real mess. Um, but yeah, it's exciting, guys. Like, we're in the house, and I'm actually sleeping here tonight. Mm, me and too. That's, yeah. <laughs> My sister-in-law is sleeping here, too. So it's nice. Like, I literally get to host right away, which is wonderful. And unpack. And unpack. Woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're going to do the kitchen and then chill. We don't have to do everything today. Oh, one thing I want to show them. The fireplace is done. So our tile guy... Rudy's cousin, he came this morning, so early in the morning, bless him, and he did our whole fireplace. So it used to be more of like a yellowy tan tile, and we replaced it, this is actually with quartz. So like these quartz, we purchased a slab that was like a remnant leftover, and then we used that to go around the fireplace, and I think it looks way more modern now. 
want these this close apart? Roughly? Roughly, yeah. Five inches, want to go a little closer? Just do an even number? You can do even if that's what makes it. Yeah, I even think five would look better. Okay, five inches apart. <clears throat> okay. We're hanging paintings. First, um, holes in the wall, which is a little scary. Almost 37. It's 24. Divided by two. A little higher. I think that's better. This is better? Yeah. Do you want me to get you a pencil? Yeah. Okay. You get a pencil. Can you... This is my Bible pencil. Okay. Can you mark just really tiny? This corner underneath it, sort of? He's accounting for the drop. In the wire. In the wire. And all the wires are always different. And he looked at me and he was like, Courtney, could you do this? And I said... <laughs> no. He said... Mm. <laughs> Mm. Mm. We found out we have one of these things. I think it was a wedding gift that we have not used at all until mm -hmm. now. Okay, you take the measure. Take this. I'm gonna hold it here. Okay, good. Um, from here up, a dot here, bottom right here. And. One quarter. And that's where the dot goes. That's where we drill. Oh my goodness. All of this for two paintings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you think this is easy peasy, huh? We have so many blank walls. Fisher, there you are, bud. So our cats are kind of hot and cold with the new house. The first day, they just stayed in our closets. That was like the first room we put them in, so that was our little safe space. And then, actually like a few hours in, they started exploring, like kind of when we stopped moving things around. They started exploring, which was impressive. And then they've been hot and cold. Like they'll kind of just go back to the closet and chill for a few hours and then come back out. I don't know. So I can't really tell if they feel very comfortable here yet. All right. That's where the first one goes. All right. Stop filming me. I'm just freaking working on this. Man, I really hope this is good. Now we say a little prayer. Lord, please protect our painting. What do we think? Ooh, babe, that looks good. Babe, I think you got it spot on. There we go. Snaps. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> now, do I be a good wife and edit this so you can't tell how long it took us, or? <laughs> you try to figure it out yourself next time. Yeah, I know, we already talked about that. <laughs> okay. Story time behind these paintings. These are from our honeymoon. So we honeymoon, honeymooned in Sicily. And we, Sicilia. Got, we got this on our, on our stay in Taormina, right? Yeah. Taormina, Sicily, which is beautiful. I highly recommend. It was in, and we planned our honeymoon before I actually knew this, but it's pretty cool. It was in the second season of White Lotus. That location was one of the spots we visited on our honeymoon. Oh. And at dinner, Rudy and I would often have a glass of wine, and I would go for white wine, and he would go for red wine. So that's why we caught the two little grapes. Why not let these feelings have their place? Hi guys, welcome to the next day. Um, last you saw me, Rudy and I were hanging up some paintings in our kitchen, that was last night. Um, today is a new day, so I'm really proud. Most of our house is super organized, but I'm gonna be a little annoying and I wanna keep that until the next video to do like room reveals or maybe I'll just do like a first floor reveal because the first floor is looking pretty good. Um, but for now, I thought I'd take you through my closet because 
I've seriously been avoiding it. So we moved in Saturday. Sunday was Easter Sunday, so we just completely stopped, didn't do anything. Yesterday is when we hung the paintings and like got a lot of our first floor organized, and today is Tuesday. So I just wanna take you guys through my closet because it's actually terrifying in this state right now. And the most embarrassing part is that Rudy's closet is actually completely organized, but mine is not, which I feel like as a woman, it's just um, a blow to my ego. But anyway, so here's Rudy's closet. Look at that. I didn't even know this man could fold that many clothes. I'm very proud of him. <laughs> Um, I think he's just never had the opportunity with all of his small closets, but um, yeah, he even has like a lot of extra space right here. This is fresh laundry, so um, don't mind that, but his closet is looking awesome. And then there is my closet, which is like a straight up explosion. Da, 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 da. Can you see? Can you see? Okay, this is not even the worst of it. Right, we just have stuff all over the floor. What is that? Where do those go? This is also all my closet here, which, yeah. This is why I've been avoiding it. So I feel like step one is figuring out the layout of this closet and like where things should generally go. Um, so you're standing on like a bookshelf so I'm definitely thinking mostly pants, shorts. Yeah, pants and shorts there. I'm in desperate need of baskets. So maybe today we can go to Home Goods and get baskets. Now that we have multiple closets in the house, um, like upstairs, a lot of the bedrooms we're very blessed have nice walk-in closets. We also have attic space. I don't wanna keep every single thing in here. So if it's like a formal dress that I only wear once a year like this <laughs> I wore for New Year's I don't really want to store this in my main closet mm, this is so overwhelming okay let's just maybe start with the shelves let's maybe start with the shelves because then I'll know how many organizers I might need to buy so we will start here and please if you have any organization tips for closets please let me know this is my first time having a really big closet, so um, I kind of am not used to this sort of thing, but we're gonna give it our best shot, so let's get going. Okay, so I feel like the first thing I need to do is just take all these bikinis out of here. guys here is where we're at um i did skirts on top because i don't grab them quite as much these are shorter skirts that i wear more often in white and black have my jeans which you saw me put here earlier white pants green pants and then the further down we go are black pants and then these are all dress pants when I used to work a nine to five, that was like my wardrobe. So I have a lot of them. But yeah, this makes it look like I don't have too many clothes actually. So I like this closet. It's making my shopping addiction look a lot better. But I just found this skirt that, um, I don't know if I want. I'm like rediscovering things in my wardrobe that I literally didn't even know I had. So I thought we'd just try this on and see if I still like it. What do we think? Actually, that fits really nice. I don't think I've ever worn this once, <laughs> but it looks really cute. Um, okay, I'll keep that. I see these are all blazers again from work. I don't know, some girls like dress down blazers and I'd love to figure out how to style those. So I'm gonna keep those in here. Okay, this probably looks no different to you guys, but I actually just went and got my nails redone. Here is proof that I left the house. <laughs> um, and then I went to Target and I got some 
just some baskets. I got two of these little baskets because I measured and they fit this shelf really well. I'm actually going to put them further down. Um, but I'm just starting to organize my shorts now. Okay, there we are. These are all blue denim shorts. I'm astonished by how many I have. And then I just have white and black shorts there. Okay, we're going to move on to the dresses. And we're going to be very cutthroat about the ones I just put upstairs for now. I'm not going to think too hard about it. I'm just going to go for it. I think we've reached a good stopping point for today. Um, Y'all know the before. Here is the after. We have some tank tops, some long sleeves. I have all my shorts, um, my pants, and then these are all summer dresses and we can see the floor in here okay before we wrap up the video i want to give you guys a little sneak peek at the kitchen or not even a sneak peek i just want to show you guys the kitchen um because i feel like it's been the focal point of all my home renovation videos because this is the main spot where we put our money for the renovation so without further ado here is the final kitchen Da, da, da. Okay, so we will start, I think, from this angle. I'll back up. So one of the major updates we made to the kitchen was this beam going around in addition to the island. And that's because we took down a wall that used to be here, and then that gave us room to expand the island. So that was probably the best decision we made. On this side, it's obviously the fridge. It's kind of like a galley style kitchen if you think about it, because we really just have like two work spaces right here, um, but then it also extends over there where you can see I kind of put my mess. <laughs> um, here are the pictures that we set up yesterday, which I think look really, really good. Um, so we centered them on the island and I love that definitely my favorite room in the kitchen now um i just feel like this island right here is going to be the most perfect spot to do cooking videos and all that sorts of fun stuff okay i'm going to show you guys one more room and that is the breakfast nook off of the kitchen that's where i used to stand in my other videos if you've watched some of my kitchen renovation videos i would stand in there and go like the surroundings in here just make me happy just bring me peace and they really do so I will show you guys now. Three, two, one. This is the breakfast nook. Um, it's hard to see in this, you know, landscape view, but when you walk in, the ceiling is like what's super eye catching. And then, of course, the view. And this is just our old kitchen table. I think we could probably put something a little bigger here. But for now, this is the breakfast nook. I just love like the windows going all the way around. I think it's super quaint and I don't know. Everything about this house just makes me happy. <laughs> and we got super lucky this weekend was Easter weekend, um, the weekend we're moving in, which yeah, it kind of made things very busy, but it meant that we got to host people because um, a lot of our friends had off. So my sister-in-law, and brother-in-law slept over and we had like my mother and father-in-law over and a bunch of friends and it was just so nice to like break in the new house with all these people okay so i think that's honestly going to be it for today's video guys so if you haven't already please subscribe i don't say this in every video but um we've actually officially hit 300 subscribers which might sound small but that's a huge goal for me so thank you to all 300 of you who subscribed i'm sure one of them is like my mom the next one is my aunt <laughs> but um i also know there's some of you who are just here for the ride and might not know me but thank you so much for subscribing i'm excited to share more of my home with you guys and hope that you stick along for the ride um my next videos i'm sure will center around like furnishing the house and stuff like that. Cooking is a big part of my channel these days um, and just lifestyle in general. So yeah, stick around and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. In a world without your touch, my love feels wasted. And to lay here on my own is not the same. It's
it's not the same yeah. 